Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manor Lords. This game just came out last Friday. I've been playing it ever since. I'm really addicted. I totally enjoy these games. It's a sandbox. It's a build a city. It's a cross between uh, kind of a city builder and um, Warhammer Total War, kind of. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is show you how to survive the first year and end up in the best position you can to advance beyond the first year. What you want to do is get your uh, resident residences, residences, hard word for me to say, and make sure that they're up to level two and you have a good strong economy and you've got money coming on in. And then when you have money coming into your population, you can then tax it and get revenue for your lord. So here we are in uh, the county of Saxonia and we're looking at the zoomed out version of the map. And we're all of our assets are five villages living in a hobo camp right here. Um, here we have the wild animals, clay deposit, berry deposit. It's growing right now because it's coming into the springtime, into summer. And stone deposit, and last but not least, iron deposit. So we're not going to stay here. We're actually going to zoom in and take a look at the farming. And what I'm really interested in is not building too much in the bright green areas. Where the emmer is, or where the flax is, flax is in here. Um, barley is kind of important later on. Kind of mid-tier at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to start farming. But the next video is going to be concentrating on farming and growing your wealth and happiness. Um, what we really want is the emmer, and that's a lot of green up here. So I think we're going to relocate our village to this area here or this area here okay so with that we need to get started one of the first things we need to do is build a logging camp I'm gonna put that logging camp right here and our villages are up here right now and the minute I unpause they're gonna start moving I'm also gonna relocate the hitching post where the oxen is the oxen is very important does a lot of the hard grunt work. I'm going to relocate that puppy to about here. And then I'm going to unpause and get the villagers working. I'm going to go on regular play speed times one right now, but I will go to speed things up a little bit later. So this is where we have a source of food for the first year in the wild animals. So currently 17 wild animals out of 20. And we are going to take advantage of that by building a gathering hut for, well, a hunter's hut, I should say and place it here maybe here i'm also trying to minimize the distances of the village and the storage and the food collection and last but not least for the first step we are going to collect berries and with that we need the uh, forager hut and place it right over and then we're going to create a road from the foraging hut the center of town. Then we're going to place one from the the hunter's cabins, the hunter's huts, the hunter's tents, to the center of town. Um, just like that. And then we're going to tell everybody to get the hell moving. <laughs> um, once, once this one is built, we then need to... Sorry, I'm uh, just taking a drink of water. Once the logging camp is built, we need to populate it with a family. So we're going to increase the uh, production urgency or priority. And here we go. Speeding things up a little bit. All the little people moving around like ants. See how they're supplying the, uh, the wood and the building construction materials first. And then they've got everybody building on it. And then the minute that this one's built, we're going to send... can ignore the messages for now. The minute this one's built, we're going to put a family in there working and they'll start collecting wood from the surrounding area. Wood is very much a base material, especially at this stage, that we need or a resource that we need to collect. What you want to do is think of this, um, your initial goal is to create five homes because you're suffering a penalty to your approval from homelessness. And we want to get that up to about 51 to 53% so that we'll get more villages. We have five families, but we have no shelters for them. And we have no work for them. So right now, I'm going to add one into there and leave the others to do the building of the other camps. 
So the hunting lodge or the hunting camp is also populated. And did they build this one yet? Nope. So up the priority for it. And it's raining. And it's raining. Do, 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 do. Raining in my heart. Name that tune. I dare you. In the comments, see if you can put that tune name into the uh, comments below. So what we're trying to do is get you a good start for the first year that gives you a good economy and a good growth so that you can build your economy up and then eventually when your economy is good you can start building up a good military. So the next thing we want to do is build some houses and I'm tempted to build them right here. But let's zoom back out once and go to the farm, go to the fields. So we don't want to build down here, we're probably going to build in this direction here. I might build a farm out here, a field out here, just to get things going. Okay. So we're collecting wood, that's good. Next thing we're going to need is um, four or five or six houses. And do we have enough wood for that? Yes, we do. Up here is our resource list. So we need timber. I think it's two timber per house. That would be ten timber for five, twelve timber for six houses. So we're going to start building some houses right here in this direction. Um... Okay, resources are coming from that side, so I think we'll build the houses right here, actually. Put the church over here and the marketplace over here. So I'm going back to regular play speed, so I don't skip by too much. And going to houses. And if you haven't played this game yet, you have to drag and click. Um, and kind of build an area. And don't worry, there's only three houses there. We can then change the orientation. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six houses, which is exactly how many I want to build. The quicker I can get rid of this homelessness penalty of minus four, the better. And it takes a while. It hangs around for a while. We want that to be over 51%. And that when the approval is that high, we'll get an extra family each month. Right now we have two families assigned to work. Oh, so there's a family assigned into here, but there isn't one assigned into the uh, into this one, the forager's hut. So we need to put one in there. That'll give us two types of food. So next, we're going to prioritize to the very to the highest hitching post. Put a family in there. Eventually we're going to get another ox, but we can't do that right now. We're concentrating on getting rid of that penalty as fast as possible. So we'll speed things back up again until the houses are built. So here we are building the houses. Everybody's going in 12 times the speed. I love the graphics in this game. They're really, really awesome. The game is quite affordable. It's like $35 on Steam, and it came out Friday. The download went pretty quick. Um, I highly recommend this game. I'll give it two thumbs up from me. Um, you, you'll see why. Hopefully this video will give you a clue on how to get through your first year. We're going to go through until about next April. We're in May of this year right now. So up here in the left hand corner you'll see the living spaces. We have one and five under construction. We have four families who are working um, in a building, in an industry. And then one family who isn't. And that won't grow until we get this above 40%. And we meet the criteria for happiness. Um, and we have more houses for them to build. for To move into, sorry. So that's why I built six houses. So I'll immediately have room for a sixth family. And I'll keep ahead of those without balancing it. Overbalancing it. I won't have ten houses with only five people. I'll have six or seven houses with only five families. There's the ox. The ox does a lot of um, supplying of the goods. This is my way. It's probably not the bestie best way, but it's pretty good for me. I researched it for about two or three days and how to get the most out of the first year and be set up for whichever way you want to go from there. I'm going to go the farming wealth route. Um, but, okay, so I'm going to go down to normal speed here now and explain something. So I've renamed my um, county Saxonia. Now you see I have the one here, 
um, that means we can spend a point. And we're going to go with agriculture. And there are lots of different uh, technology routes that you could take. Um, we're definitely going to go for sheep breeding later. Meh. Uh, <laughs> but for now, we're going to go for the heavy plow. Because that will help us with the farms in the next stage. So we have right now six houses. So we could, if we get this over, at the end of each month, you'll hear the church bells ringing. And then you'll see that this, if it's over 51%, you'll get an extra family here. So right now we have one family doing unassigned general construction and four families doing skilled labor. So just make sure that everybody, everything is covered down on while we're in the pause mode. Somewhere in here. Come on, where are you? Okay, so we've got a family producing nuts and berries from the woods. Foraging. We have a family up here. Hunting. I'm leaving the hunt the hunting or population limit for the wild animals at 10 right now. And you'll see I've got 13 out of 20 currently. That 13 goes up in the summer and down in the winter. And it goes obviously down with the amount of people that you end up using to hunt. So the next thing we're going to go with is a fuel supply, wood supply. I'm going to place it right next to this uh, logging camp. So the logs come in here. You see the oxen is dragging all the uh, heavy logs around. And that's why the, the uh, oxen is so important. I think we'll call him Ollie the Ox. Linhart and Ditz. Diltz. Okay. <laughs> Not Ditz. Diltz. Alright. So with that said, now we're going to go ahead and go and build... Under resource collection, we need a woodcutter's lodge because they're going to need supplies to last them throughout the winter. I'll uh, get it in the right spot. There we go. Um, they're going to need f uh, wood as fuel, and that has generated the woodcutter's lodge. And now we're going to prioritize that one under high priority or highest priority so that that is built next. And basically what we want is to grow the regional wealth. Regional wealth is the wealth owned by the people in the region. And we can convert that through a tax policy once we build a manor. We can start having a treasury. But until that's healthy enough and is growing, which you need level two residences or homes to make that grow. You get one per residence. That's a level two residence. So, 44% and steady. It's not going up. It's not going down. When this number and thumbs up here goes green, it means it's going up. When it goes red, it means it's going down. So right now it's kind of staying stable. Speeding up here a little bit. And slow back to normal speed. Now the woodcutter's large needs a family to work it. Let's go, people. So to get a resources up, um, this is the number of supplies that you have that will last so many months. Now, one is red. Um, that means that we're currently losing, and we're losing because of fuel is only one per month, and food is 13 months of reserves. We want to have that grow, so we're not going to do much else right now until this grows up a little bit. And we're going up ever so slightly in uh, approval. So let's have a bit of time speed by. We're watching this resource number up here go up. Oh, so right now, let me stop the game and show you something. This message right here, family requests more market area for their store. So the woodcutters want to sell um, wood at the market. And we don't currently have a market, so we're going to create a market space. And to do that, I'm going to put it real close to the residences. So I think we're going to build backwards into here somewhere. And you can build anywhere you want, but you want to try and keep things efficient if you can. So we also want to make sure that the little white dots are the access points and that they have access to roads. They do on this end in the gardens, but now they have a road on that end. And we're trying to make a kind of a traffic flow that is efficient. And so the next thing I want to do is create a market area and a well. Oh, well, let's look at the waterways. So if you go for residences and then you highlight the well you'll see okay so we can build a well here well well isn't that fine little dad joke there for you okay so they're gonna build well actually they're not gonna build too much um, I've got nobody currently left to labor 
So, I have plenty of wood. I can stop these guys from laboring for a minute. And then they can come over here and set the well. Because these houses... Um, to go up to level 2, you want to have water access. Um, at least a level 1 church. And a market with a fuel stall, a food stall, and a clothing stall. And that's kind of tricky. The clothing stall is the one that took me the most to figure out. And what you basically need is the hide that is generated by the Hunter's Lodge. Let me see if I can find it again. Hunter's Lodge. These guys are generating hide. The hide can be turned into leather. And then leather gets sold at the market. And that's how you solve that clothing one. This clothing stall supply. So have a clothing stall at the market. You've got to have hide. Well, you can do it a number of ways. But the quickest way from the start is to have hide. And that is generated at the Hunter's Lodge. So once that is done, well is finished. Well, well, well. So now we're going to create a market at the back end here. And to do that, come to Marketplace, which is in Housing. Well, can't do that one. So that one family that's currently unassigned is going to go ahead and generate a market. There's a cuckoo in the game that's driving me insane. If he keeps it up, he's going to be roast cuckoo. And then the only other thing we need is a supply or storehouse, which I'm probably going to put in here. And hey, that we go to supplies. Oh, there they are. Storehouse. Can I get it in there? I guess not. I could put it in there, and that's centrally located, so I'll, I'll go with that. So we're 44%. Home, homelessness is about to drop off. It's further down the queue. It's at the bottom of the queue. So when that drops off, we should start gaining uh, favor points. Firewood stall constructed. Right in here, firewood and food. So the only other one we need now is leather, which is created at a tannery, which you get from the hunting camp. So to do that, we're going to go into industry, tannery. Hmm, I don't want to place it there. Maybe I place it here. Again, if you cut the travel time down of these people, whether they're using the ox or just carrying one piece at a time, or whether they've got a cart where they carry ten pieces of any resource at a time, you want to cut down the travel times. So the storehouse is here. That's where the hide will go to. Um, and then it'll move right next door to here. But to do that, I need more families. And I can't do that right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is start building a church on this side. And then when I have a church, you'll see that we'll meet all the requirements. Church level, uh, fuel store, we've already got one of those, food supply. needs two types of food. That's why we have the hunter's lodge, and then we also have the nuts and berries. We will eventually have bread and flour, but just not yet. So these are level one um, residences. We want that to go to level two. So to meet the requirements down here, you've got to fill up this page. Um, not the armament section, but these pages right here. So we need a bit more time and more people. So 44% still. Okay, well, we're on the way. we just got to have a bit of time go by. Just trying to create a short and quick video down to the point here for you. There's Ollie. What do they call it? Call the Ox. A different name. Linhart or something. No, Linhard. Okay, so... These stalls are what we want to see in the market. We want a clothing stall. To do that, we need to have this one stall right here. Um, and then we need a church. Do we have enough to build a church yet? Bum, 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 bum. Nope, we need 20 planks. So that's one more resource that we need. So over here, I'm going to put a sawmill. And that is under gathering saw pit, I guess. And again, the sawmill is close to the logging camp, it's close to the woodcutter's lodge, it's close to the storehouse. So that's really efficient and easy for the resources to bounce around once they've been collected. So we'll go ahead and speed back up here a little bit. We need this one and this one to be created. We can't populate them yet, but we're just preparing for when we can populate them. So we're waiting for that level to go up. We need this one first, really, because we need the um, planks of wood to make the church. You can't just build a church out of logs, it has to have planks of refined wood, which sounds only appropriate. I want your church to look good, right? Be solidly built. Okay, so now I'm going to steal a family 
Um, I've got four months with us. Well, I don't want to steal that one. Okay. Um, let us look at the Hunter's Lodge. And they are currently hunting. They've got hide and they've got meat in plenty. So I'm still a family out of here. I'm going to put them temporarily in here into the saw pit. Now, I don't think I have anything else under construction. I've got all the basics right now. So I'm going to put two families into making planks. I'm going to need 20 planks. So let's see how it goes. Got five right now. Need 20. Need a bunch more timber, so I'm going to transfer a family over to timber. Those dastardly bandits stole my wood. I'll get them back. I'll pay them back. You'll see later on. Prop that's a different video, though. So when that reaches 20 for planks, we're going to stop time. And okay, so go back to regular playtime. Drop the family down. Put the family back into here. Logging camp. And now we need more logs. Let's just check what we need for a church. Bum, 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 bum. Um, we have everything that we need for a church. So the church is going to go back here. Kind of in the center. I don't know the exact distance, but I did notice in earlier play that as um, residences got further away from the church, they lost the church bonus. So I'm going to try in this play, uh, this campaign, to build residences around the church and around the market. And, oh, I need a working family. We can take the family out of here, send them over here, high priority, 46%. percent we have still got that homelessness um, red item on the bottom, minus six for homelessness. All right, speed that up a bit until the church is built. We're not far away now from uh, generating families. And families are really just like another resource. Once this church is built, we're going to see the, the um, approval go up a little bit because we'll get a church bonus. And very soon that homelessness minus six will drop off then we can start building some more houses i'm gonna leave place for a tavern probably a tavern down here that's gonna be like a level two uh or a number two video episode two okay so i'm just gonna pause it here and see if there's another work i can steal we're doing good on logs or we're not no we're not doing so good on logs well i could steal them for a little bit though so I'm going to put them into the church here. The quicker we can build the church, the better. You do start off the game with uh, 20 stone... Um, <laughs> berries bursting with flavor. Um, I also noticed, by the way, you tend to get fires when you don't have enough wells. So I'm going to be building another well pretty soon. I'm not going to upgrade that. I can take... Well, do we have everything we need over here? We don't have stone over here yet. Okay, let's speed up the time. So we're in September, and then the the berries tend to drop off the berry collection. It's not very good. Get it? Not very good. Another amazing dad joke for you. So right here we have a family with a stall. So we because that icon there means they have a stall in the market. And we need to keep that food stall in the market to go up to the next level. So we're not going to steal those guys. But normally I would in the winter. It's 50 berries in their place, in their pantry, the larder. I think pantry is for vegetables and spices, and larder is for meat. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Google it, find out, post a comment, and set me straight. I dare you. I would like to say, by the way, thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate your thoughts and comments. I learn quite a bit from people who make comments, so don't be shy if you've got a good idea or you want to see me try something. Either way, I'd love to see comments, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That really helps me. It costs you nothing at all, and it helps me grow and create more content. This is the end of the public service announcement. <laughs> okay, so back to high speed, time flying by, minions working hard in a frenzy. See them doing the Benny Hill dance. Church is going up. Center of any good medieval community is the church. And the manor or castle itself, but the church serves the needs of the populace. Okay, so there we go. We have a church built now. Going back to regular speed. And I'm going to put a pastor in there. Pastor Ditz, I'm not going to say his gravedigger's name, and 
Sister Mary Grethelin. All right. So now what we're looking at is hopefully this will start going up. Maximum food variety. There'll be a church bonus in here soon. If we watch this, you'll see the church bonus populate, I'm hoping. Church level one. So now we're going up a little bit. We need to go up a little bit more. Keep everybody at their job. Soap it has got nobody. So do we have enough wood? Nope. We have people making firewood. We have nobody in the storehouse yet, but we'll need to populate that first. The tannery needs somebody, but we don't have anybody we can put in there yet. And the hunter's cabin. Oh, what the heck? I've got five families somewhere. Let me zoom out and find the uh, berry hut. I know it's very important. We need a family in it. Get it? Very important. Okay, so let's let some time go by. We have nobody spare right now. So we need two types of food. And we need a clothing supply. But we need a couple more families before we can do that. I wonder if the church bonus will drop off if I do that. Yeah, it did. Maximum food variety. Now it's back on, see? So it needs a family inside the church to take care of the flock. The religious flock, not the bar bar flock. Bah! Well, they're just as important, I would argue. Um, okay, so. Can't really take that one out. I'm falling into the fall right now. Get it? Falling into the fall. We're going into the winter, the autumn. The l oh, wow, look at that. The leaves have all turned orange with the season. I didn't notice that before. That is so pretty. I love it. Okay, so we're at 51%. So now every month that we pass, when we pass into November, unless it dips below 50%, which it does every at the end of every month, it dips a little bit at this stage, we should get another family. Once we get another family, we're going to put them to work to build a house right away. And then when they've got enough houses built um, to get the next few families, I'm going to start putting them into different places. So it's a trade-off right now. October, watching this number up here. There we go. Ah, dipped down to 49. Ah, so now we've got to wait and hope. hopefully it'll get higher. Search level, 50%. It's going back up. Go into the green here in a minute. And then we want it to get to about 54, 55 if we can. It always takes a dip, but I'm not sure why, right at the end of the month. So what I'm going to do is put the game on pause a second, well, normal speed. And I'm going to put in a couple of houses right here. They'll be ready, hopefully, for when the next population shows up. And that will pop up here when we go into December. So go into homes. I think I'll set up two homes. Three homes. There we go. So when the next family shows up, they'll automatically go into digging and building. So we'll go back to forward speed. 12 times speed. And that is 53%. I need it to be about 54, I think, to the end of the month to tick down. That's 54. Keeping my fingers crossed. We need that number to stay above 54, 55. And then we need this number here to grow. Here you see you have six current dwellings and three ready to be built. The guy with the oxen is doing, is delivering the supplies. Once this one's delivered, I think I'm going to pull him off the oxen. Um, that sounded a bit weird, pull him off the oxen. Um, in the hitching post we have a family in here and we'll tell him to put the oxen back oh we need the oxen to get more wood resources okay so there we go we did it if we look at that now you heard the bells ringing at the end of the month to note, note the end of the month and we have our sixth family so they will automatically start building right here so now we're going to grow by one family per I'll show you how to level up a plot We'll pick the center one, which is close to the market and close to the church. We need a clothing stall supply, so that means we need to have some clothes being sold in the marketplace. Right now we have a food stall and we have a wood stall. But we want to have a clothing stall. When that happens, these towns will all be met with their two different types of food. Ah, that's where I'm letting myself down. I only have meat being collected right now or berries and I need the other one to make the second food type um, and we need leather from the tannery which comes from the hides of the hunters so we need about two more families yet let's keep going again still watching this number up here I need that to be 54 at the end of the month to get another family construction finished a berg 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. Uh, we're definitely in the deepest, darkest pit of winter. And I need there to be a tannery over here. So I'm throwing that spare family into the tannery. Now you can see I have nine residences, all living spaces, and six families. So I've got time for three more in here. A room for three more. So now we're in the winter. Let's make sure that we have plenty of wood from the woodcutter. We do. Okay. So the next thing I want to add is going to be a family. Oh, there's a family in that one. It's the hunter's lodge that doesn't have the family, right? Yep. So we need to put one more family into that. Then we'll have a second meat stall or a meat stall um, or food stall because we need, like I said, two types of food and one type of clothing left in the market. When that happens, it will unlock right here. Now, I could go with goats, by the way. You could pick one of these uh, village plots and have them raise goats. Let's pick the house on the end. It's the Joneses with the house on the end. And you can have vegetables, eggs, or goats. Um, chickens or goats. Came first, the chicken or the egg, right? So let's go with goats, because goats cost 25. Which I'm not crazy about spending this money, by the way, but sometimes you have to. Um, we get hide currently from the Hunter's Lodge. You can see there's 9 hide in here and 12 meat. But there's nobody to transport it. So I'm going to cheat and steal some labor, and I think I'm going to steal the labor from the hitching post. I'm going to put them into the hunter's lodge. Right now I don't have quite enough families. I need about nine families to get going and speed up a little bit. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby 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 doo. And again, we're going to be looking good if we come to the end of the month. Into January we're at 57%. We'll definitely get another family unless something goes horribly wrong. Get ready to slow down to normal speed at the end of the month. 61%. That's very... Oh, down to 53%. Wow. What happened there? Homelessness. Still above, I guess. Okay. So, let's speed up a little bit. Get that family. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on berries. 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 Don't be shy. There's the family. So... Sawmit, storehouse, tannery. Oh, we already got them in there. That's right. These guys are collecting meat. And I'll put a guy back in, a family back into here. So now you see the requirements have been met for the market supply um, and the amenities. So now we can upgrade the house to a level two. Once it's a level two, if you read this right here, level two plots generate one regional wealth per family per month. So we want a bunch of those to be level 2. Speed up again. The ox have delivered the parts. Then I'm going to steal the family. Oh, what more parts do we need? Need more wood yet. So when the ox has finished delivering all the wood, I'm going to convert him over into a um, construction family. There's a lot of juggling around in the early stages with the families and what jobs they used to do. So we need one more. You see him like here delivering the wood. So we've got four and now he's sitting idle so I'm going to steal the family and have them do the building. Burgage pot level two. So this will generate one extra wealth per turn. I'm now going to take it to this family here. Let's see who lives in here shall we? Ott and Viet and Beatrix. Okay, let's slow things down for a second. So we have nine houses, seven families, one level two. We're going to convert this to a level two as well. And again, we'll go back to that trick of the uh, ox needs somebody to lead it. So they should start delivering the wood. When the wood has been delivered to here, looking at this four right here, one got delivered. Oh, hopefully we get another family here. Perfect. So now I can leave a family on the ox. And then that other family will do the construction. So now you see we have 52 wealth. And the more you generate, the better you get. So that's the bulk of what I wanted to show you. Um, the only other thing I'm going to bring up here... No, in fact, I'll, I'll hold it right there. I think the video's been long enough. It's been for an hour. 
So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of video number one, episode one, showing you how to successfully end the first year. We did it in just under a year. I think we started in April, uh, March or April, and we ended in February the following winter. And we are now set up to be um, in a really good position to start the game. Again, the idea is to generate a really good economy so that you can afford a good military. So far, I've not bought any military or trained any militia, quite simply because you don't get attacked until much later in this setting. I did pick the middle setting in the campaign series, if you're wondering which one it is. Uh, everything's kind of on medium. We're going to grow in families right now. We're going to grow in revenue. We're going to grow these level 2 houses, uh, level 2 burgage plots. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. Please mash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This tutorial was to show you how to get a nice stable economy and a successful village or settlement up and running in the first year so you set up for success in the follow-on years. Watch out for episode 2. Peace out. Love and hugs.